you can never have too much reference material and I just purchased this uh, horse from 3dtotal.com I think that's it yeah 3dtotal.com it's it's a great little reference material for muscles you can never have enough I think and some are better than others and uh, it costs about $99 it took a couple weeks to get it but uh, it just got here today uh, there are shipping costs but it really does have some great detail in the muscles and stuff like that but anyway that's uh, just a little addition to all my maquettes that I have you can never have too much reference material as far as I'm concerned all right let's get busy on this uh, saddle today um, I gotta tell you I'm in no mood to sculpt today and it might be best just to you know call it quits right now but I'm gonna go ahead and start and see how far I get before I go nuts <laughs> Artists have those days that they just would be better off if they stayed in bed or did something else. All right, be right back. GoPro, stop recording. Time to play with some clay. All right, I made a uh, flat piece of uh, this Super Sculpty, and I'm going to now apply it. I put a line down here on the clay to where the bottom of the skirt should come to so it matches the other skirt on the other side. Now, if I can just find my tools. <laughs> There we go. All right, I cut a strip for the strap. Strip for the strap. <laughs> that will come down to the ring. And I've got to put the ring at the sa exact same position that I put it on the other side. So, got to work that out. I'd want to make it the same distance down from the on the saddle as the other one. Okay, yeah. Needs to go down about there.
Okay. Go for the stop recording. Okay, I'm just uh, placing the stirrup strap on the horse. And just, you know, just letting it hang there for now. All right, I've got the, uh, the strap for the other side ready to go. And I'm just flattening it out and putting it down on this board and straightening out the edge. And I'm using this, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a metal thing that comes off the uh, uh, file folder. Uh, you just slip it out and you can use it as a kind of ruler and it's a great little ruler for getting things. And then I, what I do is I just put it up on the edge that I've just straightened out and I want a, a detail, a little detail at the edge of the strap just to give it a little extra oomph. And then I hold down the uh, little self-made ruler here. I like it because it's not as big as a ruler. It uh, works out better. And there you can see the uh, little detail that I'm putting in there. This might be a little too much detail, but oh well. And I should do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm going to just let that hang. And I'll come back and do that detail next time. I don't know why I'm doing this much detail, because quite honestly, if I put a blanket or a uh, skin over that saddle, it's going to all be of, under the skin, and it won't be showing. <sighs> the saddle's looking pretty good right now. I think I'll make uh, the uh, saddlebags next. As you can see, it's a Spanish style saddlebag. And uh, it's a long bag, which makes sense to me. I'd, I'd want to put more stuff in my saddlebag, quite honestly. All right, I've taken a wooden dowel. That, well, actually, this is part of a leg of a table that I got from uh, the dump. <laughs> it makes a great... Uh, rolling pin now the thing is these two two saddlebags will be real narrow and uh, perfect Now the top part would uh, be a little flattened out.
did notice something. I did a little research last night on Spanish saddles. And I did notice one thing about the uh, There is a the horn on one of the saddles was just like this. And I kinda like that better. It's not quite as in your face. I just wanted to cut that down a little bit for that reason. Now, I need to make sure that doesn't come off again. So I'm going to heat up a uh, tool I got right here. And uh, just run this around the base of it. I like that a lot better. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.